CJ. Category. How special is this for you to be in the in the Māori All Blacks? You've worked on that for Fern a, a lot of times in your, your career. But how, how special is this for you? Uh, it's, a, it's a huge moment um, for me, uh, not just in my career, but in, in life. Um, to be able to uh, represent my whānau, uh, a big part of my whānau, um, on the stage is something that I've always wanted to do, something that's been a massive goal of mine. Uh, and to be in this environment is a huge honour and privilege. It's been a different past few weeks for you, obviously. You, you know, you're normally in, in that all great squad. Has, yep. has it been a difficult period for you? How, how have you sort of managed it? Um, yeah, it's it's a part of it's a part of the journey, I suppose. Um, it's definitely not the hardest thing I've been through, not even this year. Um, there's a lot of things in life that uh, will that you get uh, thrown at you, uh, and how you respond to that is is upon you, you know. And that's uh, for me. The last couple of weeks has just been another step in my journey, um, and I believe that for for everything that happens, uh, being in this environment is another step in my journey, and how I. I respond to that, how I apply myself um, each day is, is what you get back from that. And then, I don't know, next week there'll be something else. Tomorrow there might be something else that gets thrown at me and how I respond to that um, is a part of my journey, whether that's good, whether that's bad. You don't really know until hindsight kicks in. So. You're a, a meticulous planner with your game, as yeah. always, right? And I suppose this is no different. You know, I'm sure there'll be conversations with Fozzie and everything about how you maybe plot that path back in. Would that be fair to say that... This is just another another part of your your footy career where you plan and you plan and you train and you train to try and reach that next goal. Um, yeah, I think my especially my perspective on footy and life at the moment. Like I don't really have an end goal. Like making a team or winning X championship isn't the end for me. That's just again part of part of the journey. Like my goal is to wake up and be a better athlete for my team, better be be a better player, be a better person um, every single day. And if I fall in love with that journey and try to get better and better every day, like the end goal or like hanging a carrot at the end or trying to aspire to that, I reckon sells what I'm doing every day a little bit short. Yes, I want to make teams. Yes, I want the accolades. Yes, I want to win. That's all part of it as well, but that's not um, the end for me. Like if I get to that team or if I win that championship, that again is just a part of like, now what do I do next? How do I then get better? How do I then achieve something else? You know, so it's... And grown as you've kind of grown as an athlete. It's definitely something I've developed and grown over a long of over um, my career. Early on in my career, definitely um, wanted to hear about accolades. Definitely wanted to make teams and got a lot of value in that. Um, I think big one was being away from family and not having family there. Um, playing well, winning games, getting accolades didn't account for as much. Like it didn't matter to me because my family went there. I couldn't go home to them day to day. Um, so understanding what really is important to me. Um, actually allows me to apply myself so much more in those things that I want to achieve as well, that I want to um, get better at. Um, but they don't underpin my happiness. They don't underpin um, how I apply myself day to day either. Clayton seemed to indicate that you actually have a little something in your contract at some point <laughs> to be able to come and play for the Bali All Blacks. Can you explain that a little bit more? Is that oh, correct how I did that? Well, it's definitely something that I've constantly talked about um, with New Zealand rugby. Uh, it's been uh, a massive goal of mine. Uh, and something that I, a team that I wanted to be a part of for a very long time. Um, so it's, it's conversations that have always gone back and forth with New Zealand rugby that um, being in this environment was something that um, I really wanted to achieve and really wanted to, really wanted to do. How close have you got in the past in terms of maybe getting a release from an All Black side? Do you want to play a game at the moment? Um, have a conversation pop up? Nah, to, to be completely honest, we haven't um, gone down that path uh, while a, um, a Māori team has been assembled. Uh, but it's, there has been good back and forth with New Zealand rugby, with coaches and stuff like that. And they understand um, what I want to achieve as well as a, as a person and throughout my career. Um, so being able to have those conversations has always been, uh, been open with New Zealand. Uh, Clayton hasn't announced his captain is going to be. You're, What's that, sorry? He hasn't announced his captain is going to be as of yet. Yep. If you were asked, what would that mean to you? Oof. Yeah, that, that would be... Uh, a massive honour for me, um, especially only um, just coming into the environment to be um, to be respected enough, I suppose, on um, not just the footy sense. Like they have to, you have to respect the person as well. So to be able to be um, a part of that conversation or to, to be given that um, opportunity would be something I would be uh, very grateful for. I've never been in an environment where I can um, consistently um, train my reo uh, with someone who speaks to reo Māori every day as well. So being able to 
be in an environment um, like that, and if given an opportunity to lead this environment, will be a massive honour for me. It'll be um, something that I will need help with. It'll be something that I will look to our our komatoa in the environment um, to get help with. Um, but being here isn't just about footy for me. There's there's so many other avenues that I can um, win in. I suppose there's so many other avenues that I can learn in. So I'm uh, really excited to be here. I'm really excited by the opportunities both on and off the field here. Do you expect much the same of what you face in Dublin um, next week uh, against the Irish? Yeah, I do. I do. I think um, the way that they play footy um, since uh, we obviously lost to them has been very similar, and they do it really well. They hold the ball for long periods of time. Um, they don't allow opposition teams um, to get into their attacking flow, so I don't expect them to change that for us. Yeah.